Last week I lost in the day knockout tournament final four times. The fifth time of asking, we have done it. We are back in foot champions. We are less than nine hours away from the very first ever weekend league in FIFA 18. And right now, you see, EA have just dropped a patch. There's a whole lot of stuff uh, changing in the game, but uh, let's see how that plays out. Anyway, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Foot Bassy channel. If it's your first time here, then hello, welcome, thanks for joining. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show, enjoy episode 3 of The Road to 40 and 0. If you don't know what the series is all about, you don't know what the channel is all about, you don't know about the fact that I'm doing this for charity, links down below to the uh, intro video on the Foot Bassy channel. Go and check it out and you'll find it out all on there. While you're down there, drop a big old thumbs up. And also, this video is going to be live uh, probably Saturday. Today, uh, so midway through Foot Champions, let me know in the comments down below how you're getting on, or if you're not playing Foot Champions, you're playing Squad Battles again. Let me know how you're getting on. Anyway, today's episode, I've got a hell of a lot to, to get through as you start to, uh, to start to see what's happening uh, with the uh, with the patch here. In the last episode, I said what I was going to do was bring you something where I started to show you the, the team I was using to qualify for daily knockout tournament, to qualify for foot champions. But you thought, you know what? I've done that. I've passed that. Um, I'm already there, and I need to evolve my team more. I built a beast team that got me through to foot champions, but it's not enough, right? So what I'm going to do is give you a whistle stop tour right now of what's going on with my team. I'll um, I'll bring you up to speed, and then we're going to show a bit of gameplay um, because I've got some choices to make, right? So first of all, let's start with the team I used for for, uh, for daily knockout tournament. Here it is. There you'll see big boy up front, Ronaldo. That leaves me a problem. I can't play lone Ronaldo going forward. What am I going to do? I've got a gap. Ronaldo isn't the only problem. Sterling, I've got to be honest, I don't like him. Defensively, Tar, don't like him. So. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Basically, my main issue, though, is my strikers. I asked people on Twitter, what BPL striker should I buy? And um, I got loads of responses, but the overwhelming favourite person to get was this guy here, Jamie Vardy. So I bought him, I played him, I've sold him. A, uh, a good friend of mine on Twitter, um, FIFA player, Benji, he uh, said, go buy Antonio. So bought him, played him, sold him. Packed Costa, sold him. I've got a real problem. So right here is what I think is one of my options. Seydou Dumbia is the absolute GOAT in this game. 44 goals, 19 assists and 42 appearances. What I'm thinking is I'm going to keep the um, some of the, the strong points of the team that I was using in the Daily Lockout tournament, but Dumbia is the GOAT. So do I put him into this team here? And by doing that, what it does is give me this, Renato Sanchez, my absolute favourite player in FIFA 17. Renato Sanchez could be back in the team right here. What you'll see as you look at the squad is I've got um, uh, a couple of lone players, uh, defensively, De Gea and goal. Um, that's, that's just to get a feel for this team. My main issue is my striker. My main issue is I don't know who to play. I don't want Vardy. I don't want Antonio. I don't want Costa. I don't want to pay for Kane. He's too expensive. I don't want a BPL striker, actually, is my issue. Um, so I'm going to give this team a go. See how we get on with it. And I'm also going to give this team a go. Look at this. Higuain. 90 rated Higuain. I can get into my team. We're just over a week into this game. And I can already afford Higuain. It's absolutely nuts. FIFA 18 is just bonkers. So what do you think about this team? Higuain um, up top. Um, Sammy Kadira, I've bought, so I'm going to play him in midfield to see what uh, see what he's all about. I think he, you know, I like I like the look of that. Six foot two. I like the height in midfield. Now I've gone just for the example here to use a Bundesliga defence. Um, yeah, I've always said I'm not, I'm not convinced by uh, actually by either of them, if I'm honest. Um, Farman kind of okay, but I think if this team works, and I've got options to use Serie A um, defenders instead, maybe. Uh, I think Howardes would be a great option. Obviously, he's German and signed for Juve, so it gives me that that kind of strong link. I don't know, but this is what I'm thinking. Now, this guy here, I've never seen this guy in FIFA before. I'm not quite sure what's happened. He's got a one to watch. Didn't know who he was. Bernadeschi, 84 pace, 65 physical. Four star skill moves and then look at look at these stats. Look at his dribbling, right? So for a guy that's six foot, agility of eighty six, that's amazing. Long shots eighty two, ball control eighty seven. This guy I don't know where he's been. I, he's obviously just signed for Juve, which is why he's got a one-to-watch card, but he looks like an absolute monster. So I'm gonna give him a game alongside the big boy Gonzalo Higuain, I've got his loan card. His cards right now are selling on the market for 100k. What I'm going to do is play six games in total, three with one team, three with another team. I'm going to show you some of the footage right now of um, the Higuain team 
and uh, it's a team in season, so I think, what, my in Division 6, I think. Um, so I come up against this team here, and I think the reason I'm showing this game is because this, this team that I'm playing here looks completely representative, I think, of what I'm going to be facing in Foot Champions, right? So let's give it a go, let's see how the team plays. I'm not going to show you the footage of the other team, but we are going to make a decision after this video as to what I'm going to do. Right, let's go. So, as we get going, this guy um, uh, starts to break down the middle. Great ball through to William. Look at that. I pull my defender. I think he's going on the outside. William cuts on the inside. That's a great finish. I mean, there is literally nothing I could do about that. 1-0, six minutes in, seven minutes in. Um, it, just a fantastic finish from him. Nothing I could do about it. I've got a chance, though. 1-1, one, one, Higuain. No, great save by his keeper. But still in with a chance. That's a good clearance. And now, dangerous break. William, oh, he's done me. Beats one. Got to make that tackle. Beats two. Jonathan Tart backs away. Beats three. Poor defending, but a, you know, fair play to this guy. He's um, he's absolutely done me there with William. To be fair, great run. Not a whole lot I could do about it. We've got to get back into this game. Two 0 down. Twelve minutes in. Not a great start with this team. But it's actually through to Higuain. Higuain. That's what I'm talking about. Higuain. Two one. Great position. Benadashi finds him with a three ball. We're back in this. We've got a chance. Deli Ali in midfield. Son to Higuain. Look at that great strength by Higuain. Through to Goretzka. Goretzka, Higuain, that's a fantastic run for 2-2. Two, two. Come on, we're back in this. We're 2-0 down after 12 minutes. It's 2-2. Two, two, 22 minutes into the game. That's a fantastic ball by him, though. Through to Jesus. Cuts inside. Wanyama. Back to Jesus. That turn. That turn, man, nothing I could do about. 3-2 down, 27 minutes in. Can we rebuild? Can we keep going? Ali, good ball through to Luke Shaw. Son's got a chance. Oh, that turn. Higuain, perfect position. Hat-trick from Higuain after 33 minutes. It's 3-3, six goals in 33 minutes. This is hard work, man, but it's 3-3. We're back in it. Gonzalo Higuain. Is he the new goat? Is he the new Seydou Dumbia? Is he the one for me? As we break through, he finds Higuain again. Get in! 4-3. Higuain, four goals, 39 minutes into this game. We're 2-0 down, we're 4-3 up. I sure as hell can't defend, but with Higuain up front, you know what? Maybe, maybe I'm going to be okay. Danger though. It's a dangerous break with Sigurdsson. Jesus, oh, he's done me again. This guy's dribbling was, well, I think his dribbling was good. I think my defending was poor, to be fair, but he's done me again. 4-4, 54th minute. Jesus gets uh, what's that? His second, I think. Um, I, I'm not a big fan of him, but I know you know everyone is. To be fair, so I'm, I expect to play him loads in the weekend lead. Higuain, five four. Higuain gets another one. Higuain is the goat. I loved him early on in FIFA 17, and he could well be making a return to my team from a kickoff. Wanyama plays it through to Jesus. Oh, there's, there's the ball. You can see it a mile, a mile away. That run from Sigurdsson. 5-5. Five, five. Defending in this game, even with the patch, is so bloody hard. The patch is supposed to have... Um, well, loads of people saying it's harder to score goals. This game is after the patch. 6-5. I've led twice. I was 2 nil down. I've pulled it back. I've led twice. And I'm now 6-5 down. Look at that dispossession by Goretzka. That's exactly where Kadira is dispossessed. Oh, I've got away with that. Just get rid of the ball. Play it out. He's dispossessed Goretzka again in exactly the same position. That's three times. Kadira is disp dispossessed there. Then Goretzka twice. 7-5. 80 minutes in. 7-5 down. It's game over. Higuain, can he do... What is that freeze? What is that lag? Well, I've managed to keep my composure, play it through to Son who next one, 7-6 in the last minute. But there we go, it's game over. I've lost 7-6. Now you might be thinking, why am I showing you that game? Well, hopefully I, um, you, you get the point that this isn't all about me winning. I can't win everything. This series, Road to 40 no, is going to be bloody hard work. I wanted to show you this gameplay because I had a genuine choice to make, right? Which team do I go for? I've got to be honest, Gonzalo Higuain was unbelievable in this game. He was good in the other two games as well, but this one more so than the others. I think I'm going to go for it. I think he's about 100, 110k actually on the market right now. 
I think Higuain is my man, but actually I've got bigger issues defensively. I cannot concede seven goals in foot champions. I can't defend like that in foot champions. I'm going to get ripped apart. So this is going to be the base of the team. I think Higuain's going to get a start. Bernadeschi's going to be up there, but I've got some work to do on the defence, and I've got some work to do on my own defensive gameplay. As I said, it's not all about the team. It's 90% about me as a player. My defence in that game was not good. I've got to improve. Anyway, there we go. Enjoy foot champions. Till next time, I'll see you around, lads.